right, it's time to uh, chill out with two guys that we all kind of, we, we love to hate, but we hate to love because they've got the best jobs in the world. All they do is drive around hot cars. And I mean, I have been looking for a new car, so maybe I might find my new baby this morning. Gents, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Well, Kat, I think if uh, if this place is looking after you financially, you might be able to get into <laughs> one of these. Now, don't panic, everybody. It is actually Wednesday, not Friday. We are on the Wednesday slot now, and we do have a treat for you. Yes, we do. The Nissan Almera. No, no, we, have, <laughs> we have the beautiful Jaguar F-Type with us now. Now, Chira, you were lucky enough to go on the launch of this yes, car. Yes, so oh, that was fantastic. Got yep. to drive the V8 and the V6. This is the V6, though, which you've been driving. I I have, and I've also been lucky enough to drive the V8 very briefly, but yes, I have been spending an inordinate amount of time with this, and isn't it just the most gorgeous it thing? It is such a pretty car. Jaguar My are goodness. getting things very right <laughs> on, the, on the design front. Now, there's a few things, you know, most cars these days have to be fast, they have to be safe, they have to be efficient, they have to do all of these things, so it's not often designers get to kind of throw the rule book out of the window, but yeah. I was a bit surprised that the Brits, the upper class Brits, decided <laughs> to do that. First of all, there's the sound of this thing. This now, thing is so loud. We have to show you how loud this is. So I'll stand back here, and, and then my microphone will pick up these huge exhausts. Ah. <laughs> oh, a lovely little pump there on the overrun. <laughs> now, now if, you, if you could only, if you just come up. Now, obviously, being, being Britain, they thought, well, the car is a bit too noisy. So they've put in this handy button over here, which basically is a pair of exhaust pipes. So you push that, and then it makes the exhaust pipes louder. So... <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> which all right, I just all think right. Is, which I just think is absolutely fantastic. I can't fantastic. hear anything. I can't work in these conditions. Yes. This is right. also... I mean, the thing is, Britain, it's going to rain a yeah, lot. It so is. So you're going to have to get this roof up very quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the fastest convertible roofs it, in the world. It is indeed. I mean, I think this roof goes up quicker than that Nissan Almera can get to 100. So I'll yes, just show you that. we can't show you that in here, though. Um, it won't work. There we go. I think it's something like 11 seconds or 12 seconds or something like that. There we go. And that's that. Protected from the elements. Now, Absolutely. One of the problems with this car, though, as beautiful as it is, there is a price you're going to pay for all that beauty, and that is practicality. Gav, could yes. you pop the boot open for us yes. there? Now, often we say this car, the car doesn't have a boot, but when we, and we mean it's got some boot, but in this case, we mean... Can you, it, can you see it that? It has can no you? boot. <laughs> unless I hope you, you can see that back home. Unless you take the entire spare wheel out, no one's going to risk that. No. And it's not even a full-size spare as well. No. So, I mean, I managed to fit my iPad in there the oh, other day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's lovely. And I think also a you could probably iPad. fit some milk tray of chocolates if you're home late from golf <laughs> for the missus. But then again, you couldn't play golf with this because you'd have to strap your golf sticks to the front seat with the seatbelt, which but would just make you look like a bit of a bird. Now, ironically, Gav, this yes. is where the Almira shines. Yes. I mean, have a look at this. We haven't actually uh, plugged it in. It's not, a, it's not an electric car. That is the boot of the new Almira, and I am really, really impressed I by can, that. I can hear your voice echoing. You could actually, instead of buying the V8, you should buy the V6 of that and buy one of these so you can have a boot. But this is the brand new Almira. We've parked it backwards because this is really what this car offers. Something South Africans love, and that's a lot of space. Absolutely. And now this only comes with one engine variant. Yes, it's that's the... correct. Uh, it's the 1.5-litre four-cylinder petrol. Yes. Now, you know in an age where things get more complicated all the time, it's yeah. got a manual gearbox, doesn't even have a turbo. Yeah. It just feels like this car is not going to give you any problems Ever. for a really, really long time. And it really starts at 165,000. 165,000 Rand for the manual, 175,500 for the automatic, and there are no options. Have you ever heard of that in a car? No, no. options, everything's standard. Electric windows, electric mirrors. It's got a, a sort of fan arrangement for the back seats, which is going to be really, really great and in that summer. Is, that actually is refreshing the modern age, no options at all. No. So you could buy seven of these, or you could buy <laughs> one of these for 900. So what's the list price on there, Gab? This, is, this one is the V6, the V6 uh, S, uh, S spec. Uh, which produces 280 kilowatts will get you to 104.9 seconds and do 275 k's an hour and it costs yep. 900, 975,000 rand. 975, so just under a million. So yep. there, I mean there are cars that are cheaper than that yep. which go probably a bit quicker but nothing looks like Nothing that, looks like it? this at all. It is there we go, utterly Kat, gorgeous. Have, I, have we convinced you? Is this the car for you? Yeah, well, yeah, 975, gents. That's like, I, that's pocket change, guys, you know? We, we're good with that. 
I think it's for you. <laughs> Thank you very much to Chiro and Gav there bringing us the latest hot rides on South African roads. You can follow them at Overdrive TV on Twitter and keep up with their antics. They'll surely have more exciting cars for us next week. Right now, the excitement is on in the kitchen. We are cooking with Humzozo, Humzozo, Zolane, Nay, Hey, Swana. <laughs> With a range of quality products guaranteed nationally, you'll always find there's so much more to Midas.